Hi everybody, I'm Bruce Vonderhaar. This is Take 10, a partnership with Joplin Globe, Jet 14, and Joplin Schools. We are here with Grant Wistrom. Grant was part of the uh, St. John's Care Scholar-Athlete Sports Banquet, and Grant was the guest speaker. And Grant, before we get into uh, some other stuff, talk about this, why you chose to come here and be a part of this day today. Uh, you know, I just, obviously, academics and athletics always, have always been very important to me. Uh, and to come down here and help out honoring these students today, uh, you know, it's a no-brainer. Just any time I can get back to the southwest Missouri area, and obviously for something as worthwhile as this, is, it uh, makes it easy. It gives me a reason to come back home. It's probably easy for you because you obviously made good grades at Webb City. I think you said you were seventh in your class. You were an All-American, academic All-American in Nebraska. So this is something you know and, and you like to preach to kids. Absolutely. And, uh, you know, I hope someday I'm here with one of my kids receiving an award for, the, you know, for a a academics and athletics. I think it's uh, so vital to a young person to, uh, to be well-rounded, not just focus in athletics or academics or, you know, any other extra, ac extracurricular activity, but to be well-rounded. Uh, because nobody is probably going to be a professional football player or, or, you know, rocket scientist, but it's always going to take a little bit of everything to make the person right. Congratulations on the College Football Hall of Fame. You go into the Hall of Fame December 8th. What was your initial reaction when you found out you were going to be in the Hall of Fame? I really thought one of my brothers was playing a joke on me, <laughs> so I had to call and confirm it at Nebraska before I started calling people and celebrating. But uh, you just it's and as individual honors go, I've never really cared much about them. It's always been a team thing for me. But as far as individual honors go, it's just unreal. You know, you look at the p group of people, you know, Tim Brown, Gina Toretta, Chris Spielman, guys, Heisman Trophy winners and just incredible uh, football players. And just to be considered in the same class of those guys is, is an honor in itself. And then to be going in the College Football Hall of Fame is just, it, it's still something that really hasn't sunk in yet. Your Nebraska teams were so good. You lost two games in college. Uh, you know, you're several years removed from that. Do you, what do you, how do you look at your Nebraska years now, having that much success as a team, three national championships? What do you remember about those days and what sticks out the most, other than, of course, the national championship? Uh, probably, you know, even more than the national championships are the two losses. <laughs> uh, I'm still angry about them, believe it or not. Who were they, too? It was Arizona State and Texas. I 19 to nothing the Arizona State game and, like, maybe 32 to 25 the, the Texas game. Couldn't tell you any other score that I ever played of a game <laughs> that I played in, but I do remember those, too. But uh, it was just a, a, something that we prepared so hard all week long that when we got onto the field on Saturday, it was just a situation we knew not only we were going to win, we are going to show up and beat people up. We just had that type of confidence. And uh, it wasn't cockiness and it wasn't uh, overconfidence, but it was just we knew that we'd done everything to prepare ourselves to win that game. And when you, when you take the field with that type of attitude, knowing that you prepared, prepared as hard as you possibly can, uh, it's easy to go out there and ju just let everything hang out. And, uh, and it showed with our scores. You know, we, we beat people and we beat people up, and we were just – it was a fun time. Why individually were you able to be so successful? You won the conference defensive player of the year, your junior and senior year, the Lombardi Award for the best D lineman in the nation. And, and you even said it just a minute ago, you're an undersized guy um, as far as D1 defensive ends go. So what was it about you that made you so successful individually? Um, I, first and foremost, I played on great teams. You know, uh, it, football is a team sport. And if you've got one guy out of position, uh, the whole defense breaks down. So I was fortunate enough to always be on teams where guys were very disciplined in their, in their responsibilities and people were always where they're supposed to be. And so when everybody plays defense like that and runs to the football, good things will happen. But, um, you know, so I give all the credit in the world to the team, but uh, just individually, I just feel that I, I didn't take plays off, you know, and uh, at all times I felt that I was running the football and that's when good things happen. When you continue to work to the whistle blows, uh, good things are going to happen for you and that's why I got to stick around the NFL so long there are guys bigger stronger and faster but you know if there's game 65 snaps long I'm going to go hard for 65 and the guy I'm going to get hard against is probably going to go hard on 63 of them and that's when I'm going to win just a couple more questions and then in 1998 you're drafted sixth overall by Dick Vermeil and the Rams I know you and coach Vermeil had a really good relationship uh, played in two Super Bowls, won one in your six years in St. Louis. Talk about those Rams days, and I, I was lucky enough to be at a lot of those games watching it. Just what do you remember about St. Louis and playing with the Rams? Uh, you know, it was just an incredible experience for me. I, I love the city of St. Louis, being a Missouri guy. 
getting a chance. You know, at first I wasn't very happy about going to St. Louis here, the losing his team the last decade. But uh, getting a chance to go there and win a Super Bowl, uh, in, you know, in your home state is just an incredible experience. And uh, I feel very fortunate. Once again, I was on a great football team. You know, the the year, you know, year before the first year I got there, we were four and twelve. But then Kurt Warner comes from nowhere. You trade for Marshall Falk and draft. Uh, Tory Holt, and all of a sudden you've got the greatest show on turf. And I, I, I was just a you know a cog in the wheel there, but I went out and did my job every day, and just winning the Super Bowl there, and the guys that I was with is obviously an experience I'll never forget. And your Seattle, your two, three years that the Seahawks played in, in another Super Bowl again, going to a great team. You had so much success, high school college NFL and the Seahawks again when you were there they they put some good years together uh, and you know talked about a little bit today just surrounding yourself with good people and um, you know going to Nebraska was a conscious decision I didn't choose to move to Web City my parents did and look I'm thankful they did just what an incredible place to grow up and you know going to Nebraska I knew what I was getting into there but then going to St. Louis was just luck of the draw and it was a great team and a great locker room and a great organization and and then I chose to go to Seattle and I knew what was there but so throughout my career it's either you know by by divine intervention or just you know me being able to, to choose the places that I wanted to be uh, I've been on good teams and been around good people and when we were at the quality organization in, in on the field or uh, in business you know it you're going to have success if you as long as you're with people that are passionate about what they do. Last question, what are you doing right now? What You're living in Springfield, what's going on in your life? You have a couple kids and yeah. everything's going well. Yeah, things are great, man. Um, living in Springfield now, playing Mr. Mom pretty much, <laughs> and uh, opened a, a Prudential real estate agency in Grove, Oklahoma. It's Prudential Grand Lake Wistrom Realty, so anybody looking for a nice lake home, we're, we're <laughs> open for business down there, but uh, you know, those things predominantly keep me busy in the fall. I spend as much time as I can in the woods and uh, just enjoying my family time and being back in uh, God's country. All right, good seeing you. you Congratulations on your success in the Hall of Fame, of course. Thanks, All right, that's Grant Wistrom with Take 10. This is a partnership with Joplin Globe and Jet 14. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again next time.